It'll create something like two and a half direct and indirect jobs in uh, the south side in Port Loyola. Um, and it's a, two, a 200 million US dollar uh, a project, uh, most of which will be foreign currency. I believe it's the biggest ever proposed infrastructure project for Belize. And at this point of the economic cycle, uh, rather brave. Mm -hmm. Now, there has been approval for uh, two other ports at this time, and there is the, uh, the port in the South Harvest Key. Many look at this project and say, well, do we really need another docking facility? No, and all these are fair arguments. Um, and this is what mm -hmm. decisions have to be made. Uh, from my personal point of view, if there is no Waterloo project, on one hand, there'll be a sigh of relief. Because for me to embark at my age in trying to put a project together of this size is no mean feat. Mm -hmm. But it's also to be, uh, important to understand for those that uh, um, feel a certain animosity towards me personally, is at the end of the day on this project, I will only personally have something like 20 or 25 percent. The majority will be the, be the international port operators and uh, international investors. Mm -hmm. But if Belize does not want the major cruise, the Oasis class to come, that must be a policy decision because uh, they have made it clear that they will not come to, or they will not come to ports that, in which there is tendering onto the onshore. Mm -hmm. uh, and being onshore, in Belize it's about 60% come ashore mm -hmm. because of the tendering. Onshore, they estimate that 90% will come. So there'll be a greater amount of tourists that will come ashore. Uh, to be able to spend money and uh, enjoy the country. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a necessary... Uh, uh, what has happened so far is the environmentalists have, have given the go-ahead. Uh, but that, that's, not, uh, that's not a sort of a government-type approval. Yeah. Uh, and so time will tell as to, um, uh, as to what happens. The main pushback has been from uh, the environmental groups who are concerned about this level of the impact on the environment. Well, the main, just to get that clear, yeah. the environmentalists uh, believe that offshore dumping of the dredging mm -hmm. will affect either the reef or, or, or the sea at that particular point. In the first instance, Waterloo went round the world and managed to get scientific evidence to actually demonstrate that this was not necessarily the case. But the government has made it clear that politically it's difficult to accept there'll be offshore dumping. Having said that, Waterloo has informed the environmentalists that it can go forward with onshore dumping so that's the situation it is mm -hmm. um, at the moment. But clearly, there can't be three ports built. But commercial reality will bite in mm -hmm. uh, at some point. And everyone will go running around uh, having a pop at everybody else mm 